Yo, 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 what up, GPKs? Booze and Bruce back here with another exciting, exhilarating, enthralling episode of Garbage Pail Kids' first series, Wax Pack Breaks. Um, it's a little bit different from what we're normally doing. Um, I just recently, if you go back to the last video we posted here on YouTube on the GPK Auctions page, uh, I got a, a PSA submission return of 10 first series wax packs that I had sent in. And uh, eight of them were from a box that I've owned my entire life, and coupled two of them that were uh, from eBay. And somehow I got four of them back ungraded as tampered. So uh, I'm really not sure uh, if there was a mistake made or some kind of... Uh, I, I really don't know. It's very confusing to me how that can happen. All of the rest of the packs came back graded, slabbed as uh, all eights. One of them was a seven. Um, like I've been doing these wax pack breaks, we've opened a few packs over the last few months that, you know, same thing from that pack that there was cards in there like that in episode 15, that Adam Bomb and Nasty Nick, that there's no way that these packs have been resealed or tampered with. So I'm not really sure if it's just, uh, you know, maybe second guessing or not sure or some kind of human error at PSA, but I, I really, I'm not sure how that happens, but nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and take those uh, four packs that we got back from PSA as resealed or tampered. It doesn't say resealed, it just says tampered, but we're going to open them. We're going to pop them up and see what we got. Uh, as always, you know, I love doing these videos. I get excited every time we open up one of these packs. The excitement I got when we opened up that nasty Nick and Adam bomb in the same pack, you know, gives you a feeling of, you know, it just brings me right back to my childhood going down to the, uh, to the newspaper stand and buying these wax packs for a quarter a piece. And now, you know, seeing that, you know, PSA 8 pack sells on eBay for over a thousand dollars to me is just it's crazy it's crazy i love it i love collecting them still i love the memories they bring back i love just looking at this pack right here just the just the sight of it you know it gives me a feeling of of joy and happiness and i'm sure it does the same for you if you're here watching this video with me um as always i've got my uh savers and sleeves product placement here um I uh, wanted to mention too, if you head over to our YouTube channel, or not our YouTube channel, our Facebook page under the same name, GPK Auctions, we do giveaways all the time. I gave a first series wax pack, sealed wax pack away last week uh, to our lucky winner. Um, should have received that by now. Uh, we're doing another giveaway right now. I'm giving away this pack fresh to damage Don card. It's a matte back first series USA version. Uh, it's very crisp, mint right out of the pack. The, this was one of the cards that we've pulled from a pack right here on the uh, Series 1 unboxing videos. But I just wanted to let you know, uh, all you got to do is go over to our, YouTube, or our Facebook page, uh, find the post uh, for the giveaway on this Damage Don card. All you got to do is like, share, and comment on that post, and you're entered into the drawing. We're going to be giving away the card. The drawing is going to be this Friday. Today's the 11th. Um, Tuesday so you got a few more days to head over to Facebook uh, like comment and share that post you know one lucky winner is going to get this card shipping included nothing you're going to pay nothing you're just going to get a brand new 1985 first series pack fresh damage done no questions asked so make sure you head over to Facebook um, follow our Facebook page like us on YouTube, follow us, you know, don't you want to miss any of these giveaways, any of these wax pack breaks, any of these uh, PSA return videos, submission videos. But uh, without further ado, let's bust into this pack. Uh, I'm kind of excited to see what we get, you know, like I would like to open one of these up and pull something out that I could definitively say that PSA made an error, but uh, you never know, you never know. So. Uh, without further ado, let's get into this bad boy. It's a really nice pack. It's one of the dark cloud versions. Uh, back of the pack looks to me like it has a nice t white, t uh, tight wax seal on it. But um, these things, you know, are, are tampered with sometimes. You can never be a hundred percent sure, unless, like I said, you're like me and have owned the box your whole life. 
So I don't know. Um, uh, we're gonna get into this bad boy though, and uh, let's see what we got. I like to keep these wrappers fresh. No damage to this wrapper yet. I got this one off nice and clean. Melton Melissa right on top here. Let's see if these are glossy or matte back. These are matte back cards. Uh, gum's a little broken in there. No mold on or anything. I've been talking to my kid. He's nine. Um, every day I've been trying to talk to him and eating a piece of that gum. Doing a video of uh, my nine-year-old eating a piece of one of this, these four-year-old gum here. Uh, he seems like he'd be willing to do it if I pushed him a little bit harder. So maybe in one of the upcoming days here we'll be doing a... Uh, video of my nine-year-old eating a piece of the first series gum not a second series gum or a third series gum a first series gum well let's see what we got here we got 28b on top here melton melissa uh it's real off cut on the side the right hand side border has no border whatsoever that i can see um nice and sharp though corners are nice and sharp um very little wax. There's a little bit of wax right here. You can easily remove that with a pair of pantyhose. If you go back a few videos, I've done a couple videos removing the wax and gum from the front and back of the card with a pair of pantyhose. So if you want to go back and look at that, I mean, if you ever get a card that's got a little wax, like this one's gotten on it from being by that wax seal on the back of the pack, it's really easily removable and just a few wipes of a nice pair of pantyhose. But uh, we're going to sleeve this up. Melton Melissa, 28B, Matt Back, Teacher's Pet Award, two stars. That dressy Jesse that I'm looking at underneath here, 20B, looks to be in pretty good shape. It's got a nice uh, solid border all the way around the outside. It doesn't look too, uh, too uneven to me. It looks like a nice, uh, well-centered card there. So let's take a look at this guy here. Dressy Jesse, not too bad. Corners aren't the best. It's matte back, two star. And like I said, these were packs that PSA sent me back as tampered. So you know, I'm not one of those people that's going to go on eBay and try to reseal the or resell these packs, even though I know that the PSA sent them back as tampered. I'm just going to go ahead and open them, you know, and see what we got in here. You know, maybe PSA makes mistakes, you know, I don't know. Maybe I've got reseal packs off of eBay. But uh, 20B, Dressy Jesse, the little border on the bottom is a little bit smaller. we got a clumsy award. The corners are pretty nice. Looks like it's got a little stain on the one corner here. Not the best corners I've ever seen on this card. But not the worst. It's definitely a pack fresh, nice, nice minty card. I've got uh, 22A Junkie Jeff underneath that here. Go ahead and sleeve up Dressy Jesse. Don't want to damage these cards. I always want to keep them nice. I will be listing these cards on eBay, selling them individually as auctions, as always, uh, starting at 99 cents. So if any of these cards you're interested in, uh, you can just head over to uh, eBay or on our Facebook page at GPK Auctions. Everything's GPK Auctions, uh, eBay and YouTube. You can get to the links for these auctions on the, uh, either way through, through my Facebook page or through YouTube. Or, I mean, through eBay. So you just head to GPK Auctions. And uh, this is uh, same thing, a little miscut here. Matt back, one star, backseat driver's license. Twenty two A Junkie Jeff. Nothing in here too great that I've seen so far. Sleeve that up. We're growing subscribers on our YouTube channel here weekly. Like I said, we're doing constant giveaways over on our uh, Facebook page. You know, you subscribe to the YouTube channel and head over to the Facebook page and make sure you follow us on Facebook so you don't miss any of those free giveaways. Uh, 
any of these uh, makers of sleeves or uh, card holders want to give an ad shout out here on the GPK Auctions YouTube channel as our community grows, um, just hit me up. Um, furry Fran underneath here, 12A. Same thing, a little miscut. It's got a little ding on the side here. I mean, that's a little stain. Nothing too great in this pack that I saw. Uh, permit not to do homework. Get that, get that focused in here. Matt back. One star. Furry friend. 12A. Sleeve it up. And then last but not least, the can of ash. Andy, 13A. Doesn't look to be too bad, a little off-centered. All of these cards have had nice corners for the most part, other than that one having a little stain on it. You know, it's really hard to tell, you know, it's a reseal pack, quite possibly. You get five cards, not one of them, you know, is really anything great. Now, if you opened up a pack and four of them were matte back and one of them was glossy back, then you know for sure you got a resealed pack. But I'm looking at our last card here, Ash Can Andy. I'm going to look for a little gum residue on the back here. I don't feel anything. So we've got uh, 13A, Ash Can Andy. Not too bad. Nice corners on these for sure. Uh, all of them were a little off-centered. This one's not too bad. The Dressy Jesse was also not too bad. I don't know if these would be worth sending in for grading. I'm gonna have to take a closer look at these. See, um, Ash Kanini though, big stink award. Matt back, one star. We'll go ahead and sleeve that up. And uh, I got three more packs here. We're gonna do episodes. I'm gonna space them out a little bit. But uh, here's pack number one. Resealed pack, the PSA sent me back. You know, possibly. I can't say for sure, I didn't pull anything fantastic out of here, I know that. But nevertheless, these cards are all still 1985 first series cards. They're in great shape, other than being, other than being, you know, off-centered. All matte back. All in decent shape, for sure, other than the centering. But there you go, Garbage Pail Kids. I believe this is episode 26 already we've gone through of opening series one wax packs here on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate you guys tuning in, staying with me every week. Make sure you sub up, like the video, uh, follow us on Facebook too, you know, and if you're ever interested in any of these cards, they all go straight up on eBay. Auction starting at 99 cents. The, not the, the series one wax pack that was the PSA 7. Uh, it's going up on eBay right now as well, it's like 99 cent starting bid. So make sure you head over there and check us out. Sub up, you don't want to miss anything, guys. GPK for life, booze and Bruce, GPK auctions. Peace.